Good morning and hello, explorers, and welcome back to another Van Life Adventure vlog. So I just had a great and successful night at Slate Park here in the town of Proctorville, Ohio. I thought the place next to me was an Ace Hardware, but I guess they rebranded it to Kenny uh, Queen's Hardware. Well, actually, it does say Ace on the side, so <laughs> kind of interesting. There's a little McDonald's over here on my uh, left with the post office and the bridge back there behind me. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty sweet. There's a little uh, RV, little camper thing over there that, you know, next to me or whatever. <laughs> There's an American flag over there just chilling with the uh, Kroger. It's pretty sweet here. <laughs> pretty relaxing and everything. And I think I have a 42 mile drive all the way to the legendary Mothman Museum. <laughs> Definitely stay tuned because I think it's going to be a pretty cool place. I'm not too sure if we'll be able to film in there or not, but uh, I called my mom last night, you know, just to tell her where I was or whatever. Uh, she looked uh, like the info or whatever online and I think it's like four dollars and fifty cents for admission and I think I'm gonna stop at a Walmart along the way to grab some drinks and stuff. Looks like a pretty cool town on Google Maps. There's a little riverfront park and then in tomorrow's video I think I have a 65 mile drive all the way to that uh, Kanaha State Park thing or whatever in uh, Charleston. So it's 9 37 as you can see right there in my dash. Thankfully I managed to get all six videos uploaded so far and obviously this this one's number seven. So, without further ado, I'm going to stop delaying and head down the road. And please come along for the ride by hitting that subscribe button. And check out the description down below if you want to learn more about me and the type of van that I live in. This thing is. And yeah, that's basically it. So, let's do this thing, yo. made it all the way down here my drive was absolutely amazing on the open flatlands with a tiny bit of little dirt hill mountains of ohio and went across those two bridges if you uh you know like the little scenery please give this video a big thumbs up or whatever there's american flags silos and barns and some abandoned places all over the place <laughs> along the road back there there's a big massive uh, parking area not too big or anything but uh, there's probably a good like i don't know 100 spots or something for that river access area it was pretty sweet i didn't feel like stopping there and also didn't feel like stopping at a jalapas uh, ferry however you pronounce that <laughs> it looked like a pretty cool town maybe i'll uh i don't know come back up this way sometime next year when i leave in april uh when i'm gone for the entire year which is super exciting <laughs> hopefully my van holds up and everything and if you don't know i'll be in west virginia that month <laughs> and then probably in may of 2023 i'll be in uh i don't know pennsylvania or something so i guess that's where i'm going next year <laughs> but anyway it was a fun drive and everything it's super nice it's stopped at the Walmart to grab some drinks and a Starbucks pumpkin spice latte and a little popcorn chicken in this New York deli little uh sandwich <laughs> look at this ginormous concrete wall though this is cool I think I picked a pretty good parking spot I had to drive on that brick road down there through that little uh place of business or whatever the back side of it I think that's the little post office back there as well to be able to get down here because <laughs> there was a do not enter sign and yeah it's pretty sweet <laughs> you probably also saw that footage of those two massive massively uh like i don't even know how wide <laughs> having like a wide load 
uh, banner thing on their little bumper. I guess they're uh, transporting a house. <laughs> it was insane looking. But this looks like a nice place though. This is the, uh, you know, the little riverfront park like I mentioned earlier. There's the train bridge and, you know, it's pretty simple. There's everything else. And uh, there's a little entrance right there. And there's another entrance down there somewhere. And then I think there's a trail on the other side of this wall that leads all the way down there to the little uh, battle monument memorial thing. <laughs> so I'm just going to hop out and check this place out. It's a little bit windy. And then, I don't know, maybe later on I'll give you some history. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. I made it here. I think I've been wanting to come here for a while. <laughs> place is actually pretty ginormous. There's the, the uh, Ohio River with the, the state of Ohio just across over there, which is hilarious. <laughs> and obviously I'm chilling here in West Virginia. That's a pretty cool historical massive brick building. Don't know what it is. A little sunshine thing on the wall side of the light bulb. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice little place. There's a boat over there with some speakers and little spy cams. <laughs> And the little Point Pleasant sign is way over there. Sorry about the wind. <laughs> There's some kind of a, I don't know, little person monument sculpture thing of some sort. Over there. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool looking. Looks like it's an Indian and a cowboy or something. There's a little flower plant. There's the American flag. And yeah, I'm just chilling right here. Uh, get out of the wind free. This uh, concrete wall really helps out. <laughs> There's a stick down here, and then there, there's the uh, little anchors. There's a ton of anchors down here where you can tie your boat off to. six videos back in the summer of 2018 and the playlist called mountain cycling adventure on my old manual bike way back before i bought my van on my journey to van uh you know what i'm talking about one of the videos in there were, was where i visited cumberland gap in virginia in the uh, kentucky state line and you know pretty much named my uh, old bike that i don't have any uh daniel boone so <laughs> or navigation boone pretty awesome but check this out i wanted to bring that up and just mention that uh, playlist that's still on the front page of my youtube channel how i recommend checking it out if you're interested because well there's the daniel bone sculpture <laughs> look how cool this thing is just a simple metal daniel bone <laughs> look how funny that's pretty sweet isn't it there he is right there i'm um, basically daniel boone <laughs> anyway just gonna keep walking down this sweet gravel peaceful little pathway and look at all those flags up there. That's pretty awesome. It's a bunch of flags. <laughs> There's some kind of metal, I don't know, platform thing of some sort. I don't know what they used to use it for. I guess it's just sitting right there abandoned for now. <laughs> There's no swimming in the park. There's a little uh, water level measuring little post sticking out of that concrete slab or whatever it is. But this place is absolutely amazing at night. <laughs> Here's some kind of a... Uh, I don't know, doorway thing. <laughs> Go back out here to the main town. It's painted like red and white on either side. <laughs> oh, look how fun. That looks cool. Look at this ginormous wall full of uh, people's names carved into it. <laughs> There's a ton of people's names up in here.
thing out over here. This sculpture says the magazine. <laughs> it's a pretty ginormous marble circular, uh, I don't know, thing of some sort. That's a pretty cool little, uh, I don't know, log cabin back there. Hope you enjoy that scenery of uh, walking around this place <laughs> and the boats going across the river. And I have no idea what that thing is barreling down the uh, river. <laughs> it's a pretty ginormous big brown uh, boat. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk over here real, to it real quick and try to see exactly what it is. Because I don't know if you saw in a little clip of me zooming in, but uh, oh my goodness, what is that thing? It's so awkward, it's kind of creepy. Look, it's literally just flying down this whole thing here. <laughs> There's a sign over there, it says beer and all alcoholic beverages prohibited in Brisbane. You can set on with this pretty ginormous evergreen tree. I don't know what it is specifically. Could be like a pot roof or something. And then, uh, there's the American flag. Look at that up there. <laughs> it's American flag. With the sunshine with the bridges that already went across. There's some industrial little area over there, some cranes. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is that? It says XL Marine. <laughs> I guess it's a marine boat. Oh my goodness, what the, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> hey look, there they go. What is that thing for on the front anyway? Why is it so ginormous and awkward? <laughs> it's freaking funny dude, there's a million dollar homes over there. I don't know if they're a million bucks, probably not, they're more like a couple hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Who knows though, I have no idea. Looks like there's a Super 8 motel over there. And I don't know what else is to this place. <laughs> it's pretty simple. A lot of history here and everything. And I don't know what else I'm doing. Like always, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Look how fun though. There's some bushes and stuff just chilling right there. And then finally, there's a smokestack way in the distance for some kind of coal power plant of some sort. And then there's the two boats that I filmed earlier. stickers here on the back of the stop sign. There's a sign here that says Point Pleasant Bike Trail. The uh, old town square is uh, paved in bricks. <laughs> There's the uh, clock. <laughs> and right over there is Mr. Mothman. <laughs> Isn't that freaking hilarious? And then here's the museum. That's kind of creepy. It's open right now. I'm going to go in there in a second. And then this says Coming Soon Mothman 66. The world's only Mothman escape room. What? <laughs> Here's the uh, info. You can pause right there on the screen if you want to read it. Basically, it says uh, on a chilly fall night in November 1966, two young couples drove into the TNT area north of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, when they realized they were not alone. <laughs> Again, like you can pause there if you want to read uh, the rest of it. <laughs> it's pretty creepy. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> and check this out. Somebody uh, planted a little garden here.
So I just made it about nine miles north from the town up here to the McClintic uh, Wildlife Management Area. This used to be the old World War II munitions plant, TNT area, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Down there where the, those uh, cornfields are, there is a uh, big concrete square building on the right. There's a big sign over there that says the uh, water treatment facility. And obviously the main, you know, WMA sign was uh, down there. I don't know if you saw that in the footage. The drive was uh, actually pretty cool. It was pretty nice and everything. There was a bunch of clouds that just rolled in. So it's definitely a lot cooler than what it was earlier. And uh, yeah, the museum was actually pretty nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I watched the entire documentary on the TV in there. There's a bunch of, uh, you know, blown up large scale newspaper paper, uh, articles all over the place. <laughs> There's a lot of fun. I think they had a little theater area behind those black curtains. I didn't really want to go in there, but uh, yeah, it was a pretty interesting little story. <laughs> so as for history, according to Wikipedia, Mothman was introduced to a wider audience by Gray Barker in 1970, and then it was uh, put in a book by uh, John Keel in 1975, and then it was turned into a film in 2002. The per person said, uh, I think the author or whatever, somebody, I'm pretty sure it was the author, I'll have to double check. <laughs> uh, they said it, it was like a supernatural connection to it, and uh, they think uh, or suspect or something that there was a connection to the uh, Silver Bridge collapse. <laughs> I think 46 people died. And then I think the original person to actually first spot the Mothman was uh, Roger and Linda Scarberry, and w which obviously is a couple. And I think the second couple's name was uh, Steve and Mary Malit. They told the police that they saw a uh, large winged shaped creature of like 10 feet wingspan or something with glowing red eyes when their headlights shined on it and in the documentary they had like reenactments of uh you know some people dressed up in con costumes with little wings and stuff on the back kind of like moving all around doing weird stuff you know pretty much just to show what you know people way back in the day you know saw it with their own eye you know they try to like reenact it as best they could they actually did a pretty great job i think <laughs> they mentioned that it literally jumped like 10 20 feet up in the air up on top of a freaking building which is insane i was like like, what? Apparently, there was like over a hundred different sightings in this entire area. They also had a little map on, on there to like, you know, kind of give a little, you know, idea little dots of everything where everything was and stuff it was pretty creative i think it originally premiered on uh, animal planet and i kind of forgot about that channel <laughs> i think animal planet rebranded into like discovery channel or something but uh yeah i used to watch a ton of uh you know documentaries and stuff like that on that channel uh, back in like middle school and stuff and if you're interested uh my origin story is uh you know on my youtube channel right here you have to scroll back i highly recommend checking it out if you're interested uh the town was actually uh Fredericksburg, Virginia, call it my original hometown, <laughs> but then obviously my official stomping ground is the Valley of Freedom, which is Whitfield, Ivanhoe, Cripple Creek, and the surrounding towns and stuff. And obviously my little uh, Valley of Freedom picture is back there on the wall. <laughs> it's super freaking nice. <laughs> but yeah, it was quite the uh, excursion, quite the little story and history and everything, quite the legend. <laughs> I really don't know what to say about it, you know? There is a bunch of stuff surrounding it. Millions of people know about it. You know, it's been around for decades. The men in black stuff was cool. And yeah, I'm just chilling here on this road. There's the gate behind me. I don't know if you can see that. The main paved road is right there. And then all the way down there is the uh, TNT dome. And then the igloo is just down there, probably about, I don't know, half a mile or something. And yeah, just gonna relax. <laughs> keep editing this video in the back right here at this spot probably keep my window rolled down and yeah i don't know what else to say about it <laughs> besides this is not the only area where there's been sightings they mentioned stuff about san diego mexico uh there's actually pretty much an identical town name as this up in the state of maine called pleasant point <laughs> But yeah, very interesting, dude. Very interesting indeed. And if you want my personal opinion on if that thing even exists, I do believe it exists. But I believe the government, aka the non-government, because we live in an occupied country now, potentially we've been living in for uh, possibly shortly after this country was founded by our founding fathers back in the uh, 1700s. <laughs> there was a bunch of evidence all over the freaking place from like, you know, pretty much 80% of people in this entire world, especially over 100 million different Americans that voted for Trump and want to save humanity, really. Seriously, seriously. Like, you will not believe, like, when I tell you this because so many people were just blatantly lied to by the Communist News Network <laughs> and so many other different people around this entire world that we call globalist. <laughs> so it's not a government by any means, because if we really had a government, it would actually be representative to us, we the people, and do things that are actually good, not freaking
freaking censor us and all that other freaking crap that they do. But yes, I do believe, you know, the globalists like Klaus Schwab and all those stupid idiots created the thing back in the war right here because they mentioned, and I think they showed proof, that they used to like dump a ridiculous amount of chemicals all over the freaking place back here. Obviously, it's not nothing at all, not even close compared to Chernobyl. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. It's, you know, it's just too much. There's some certain things I can't say here on YouTube because, well, they are the way that they are. <laughs> so I highly recommend checking out the activism post over on my uh, photography website at ericasingphotography.com. The link is at the top of the description down below every single video. There's like two different sections on there. At the end of this trip, there'll be three total. So <laughs> there's evidence galore. Seriously, evidence is literally so staggering and all over the place. It's impossible to deny it. You cannot deny everything that's on that post, okay? So if you do, well, sorry to tell you, but uh, you're arguing with absolutely absolute truce and you're gonna die soon anyway so what's the difference <laughs> if you argue with gravity and go jump off a building well you're gonna die you're not just gonna jump off and float on midair and casually freaking float down <laughs> same thing with the freaking death jab it will kill you okay <laughs> so avoid it at all costs but yeah very interesting so in summary the mothman legend was cool it's awesome i don't want to like downplay it or uh you know be a bummer or anything like that because it is pretty scary but exciting too it's fun you know just have fun and enjoy life while you're here and you know definitely recommend trusting in jesus christ and if you're not a christian yet become one you know because he really is the one and only true savior of this world so you know john 3 16 and all the bible verses and stuff in the old and new testament definitely read those for sure and join the church if you haven't yet because well ultimately at the end of the day god is in control of everything call me a flat earther i don't care <laughs> obviously in the book of genesis they talk about the firmament which is the dome which is not really a solid dome it's probably more like like a little you know layer of like air and just stuff like that <laughs> you know as they say in the bible you know the water below and above as of you know i forget the bible were specifically but uh yeah they mentioned about like water is below as is above or whatever <laughs> but yeah it was uh pretty interesting oh mr mothman where are you are you back here <laughs> I know, I'm freaking hilarious, aren't I? Anyway, it's about 0.2 mile walk down this paved road from where I parked down there to the dome. Just gonna look inside it real quick. <laughs> it's probably gonna echo in that weird freaking way. Kind of like a sensory overload like that uh, Enterprise Nature Park way out there in Chattanooga, Tennessee. For my last trip in August, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Don't know if you caught that video, but you know, it was pretty cool. It was very similar to the proper people's vlog for those abandoned echo domes down in Florida that I mentioned in that video. <laughs> so, not really that long or anything. You know, just chilling. I think it's like 3.36 in the afternoon right now. Hoping to head out of here by 5 instead of 4, like I mentioned earlier. It gives me 3 hours until dark, and about half of that is going to be my drive in tomorrow's video so i'm kind of in, in a rush it might take me about an hour to edit this video but uh yeah there's somebody uh behind me right now coming down the road <laughs> look at all these woods dude it's like a forest back here pretty insane well i could have parked there that looks pretty sweet <laughs> but yeah it's a short hike so you know didn't feel like going that short of a distance <laughs> just to park in a different spot it's, it's extremely muddy back here look at all this mud oh lord man i'm gonna get my shoes all muddy aren't i because there's like nowhere to step around oh no oh man <laughs> I got my shoe all muddy. I'm gonna have to use like half of my paper towels to clean that off. And hopefully I don't run into any snakes down this trail. It's pretty darn overgrown. Look at this. <laughs> There's a fallen tree over here. It's literally just hanging on. It almost looks like the uh, Mothman's wings in the world, dude. Like, is, is this thing even real? Seriously, does this thing just hide out back here? <laughs> or is it just a complete, big and total, fat, lazy hoax? <laughs> You know, like, it'll be so freaking awesome to see this thing down here just pop out onto this trail. Like, be like, mm. oh no, I just ran into a spider web. You freaking thing. <laughs> My goodness. This is crazy. What an adventure today. Seriously. What an adventure this has been. <laughs> This one's definitely going down to the books for sure. Uh, looks like this was the dome. Well, fortunately you cannot go up in there anymore because they have it blocked off. <laughs> Dude, do all these things literally look the same from like place to place? <laughs> this is freaking hilarious, dude. I'm not even gonna try to open this thing. I don't see any lock anywhere, but uh, yeah, screw that. <laughs> Let me just go over here and uh, see what's up 
over top of this big slope. <laughs> this looks insane up here. What's over this big thing? Whoa. Nope, not going down that. There ain't nothing down there. Absolutely nothing. Anyway, I guess we're just gonna head back to my van and wrap things up back there, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Weird. What? An absolute weird place. <laughs> Check out my setup in here, buddy. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I have my door open. I'm gonna have to empty my trash somewhere. <laughs> I have my battery-powered portable fan running. And there's my little editing timeline with all the clips and stuff in the folder. And I guess I'll, you know, not make this video any longer than it needs to be. Hope you enjoyed this place back here. <laughs> and I guess that's pretty much it. So, like always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. May God bless you and all living creatures. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next adventure. Thank you.